you know, it was pointed out I never did the foundation level maths paper. So for the sake of completion, let's do that paper now. 11 customers asked how long to the nearest minute they had spent in a particular shop. Their answers are shown in the stem and leaf diagram below. Write down the mode. So the mode is the most common, the most frequent, which if we have a look at it, we can see it's this, this string of zeros here. So that's like this, which means 10 minutes. So there's a 10, a 10, and a 10. So 10. The range is the biggest value, which is this guy, 30 minutes, minus the smallest value, which is this guy, 6 minutes. So that is 24 minutes. And the median is the middle value. So you do that by uh, zooming in. You delete the first and the last, and you zoom in like this. So first and last first and last, first and last, first and last. So it's 15. The other way to get the median is to count how many you have. Well, we know how many it is, it's 11. So the middle number of 11 numbers is the sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. One, two, three, one, two, three. Four, four. Oh, I'm making a bit of a mess of that. Like, think about it. if you had, if you had, for example, three people, one, two, three, the middle is the second one. If you had five people, the middle is the third one. So what I've done in my head, you just divide it by two and round up. So 11 divided by two is 5.5, rounded up is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's definitely 15. Another customer was in the shop for 34 minutes. Complete the stem and leaf to show the customer's time correctly. So where do we add in 34? So 34 would go there. 16 minutes was the mean of the original data, excluding 34 minutes. Find the mean of the data, including the 34 minutes. So there's a sneaky way to do this. I mean, if you want, you can just just add up all of these, include the 34, and divide by 12. So that's the long way to do it. The short way is like this. 16 was the mean of the original data, so the original sum divided by 11. 16 was the mean of the original data. So that means if you just multiply 16 by 11, it means that the original sum is 176. So if you just include the extra 34, so that means the new mean would be 176 plus the extra 34 divided by 12 instead of 11. So that's now 17 and a half. Okay, and that's question one done.